25. Using handoff, continue what you were doing between your phone, computer, or tablet with ease. Linking through your iCloud account, look for an icon on the bottom left of your lock screen, or the left part of App Switcher, what comes up when you double press the home button. It works for Messages, Safari, Map, Pages, Calendar, Number, Keynote, Contacts, and Reminders. 24. Wish you could swipe to type like those Android and Windows Phone users? Now you can. Download a third-party keyboard from the App Store like Swipe, and you can set it as one of your keyboards. After installing the app, go to Settings, Keyboards, Add New Keyboard. 23. If you deleted a picture by accident or want an old one back, now you can make use of the recently deleted folder to get it, just like going into the recycle bin on your computer. Open the picture and click Recover. 22. Cameras and phones are advancing all the time. Now you can change the exposure before taking a picture. Open the camera and tap where you want the focus to be. Then slide your finger up or down on the right of the focus square to adjust the level. 21. Rather than wait the startup time to open Shazam, just ask Siri what song is this, and you'll get the answer from Shazam right there. 20. Photo Vault and other password secured apps gave iPhone users a private place for their questionable or more private photos. Of course, we'd never have any of those on our phones. Now Apple allows you to do it without an extra app. Just tap and hold the photo, then click hide. It'll go to your hidden album. 19. For those wanting more internet security, it's now possible to use privacy search engine DuckDuckGo as your default. Go to Settings, Safari, Search Engine, DuckDuckGo, and enjoy private browsing. 18. One of the coolest new features is the ability to send audio messages in the Messages app. Either press the microphone icon next to the text box and swipe up to send when you're done, or hold the device to your ear and speak the message. It'll send when you lower the phone. If someone sends you an audio message, hold the device to your ear to listen and speak your reply once their message finishes. 17. Your favorites and recent contacts are easier to call than ever. Just double-click the home button and they'll be at the top of the screen. Click on the person to call, message, or FaceTime. 16. It's easy to take a picture that's not entirely straight, if that's what you're going for. To fix it, open the picture, hit the crop icon, and turn the dial, like a compass, at the bottom of the screen. 15. It takes extra time, work, and money for developers to make a mobile website version, so not all websites have them. Sometimes you still prefer the desktop version, or it's just better optimized. Now you can access it by tapping on the URL and swiping down to select the desktop version. 14. Just like in your computer browser, now you can reopen closed tabs in Safari. Open a new tab and select which to open from the recently closed tabs list. 13. Easily add a picture to your favorites album now by clicking the heart at the bottom of the screen. 12. QuickTime is not everyone's cup of tea. If it's not for you, swipe down on the gray boxes and they'll become a small gray bar. Swipe up on the bar to get them back. 11. Many of us get tens or hundreds of emails a day. Now, get notified only of those you really want. Swipe partially to the left on the message, tap more, and click on Notify Me. Now, you'll get a notification when any new email arrives from that thread. When composing a message, touch the alarm bell to enable notifications. 10. Apple has followed the lead of email companies by allowing you to minimize an email, so you can check other emails without reverting to the old way, saving what you're working on and having to go into drafts to continue writing. When writing a new message, just swipe down from the top of the message you're composing. To reopen, tap the bar at the bottom of the screen. 9. Help emergency medical staff by creating a medical ID on your phone. They can access it from the lock screen, and it will help them provide better treatment. Open the new health app, and touch the last tab to set it up. 8. Save time and prevent errors by having Safari put your credit card number in. When buying online, click the area for card number and select Scan Credit Card from the top of the keyboard. 7. It seems a whole industry has emerged to help us recharge or extend battery on our power-sucking devices. To see where your energy is going, click Settings, General, Usage, Battery Usage. 6. 
Widgets give you a short chunk of info about any of your apps, such as the weather or the latest rugby score. Turn on an app's widget from the notification center, swipe down from the screen's top, select the Today tab, scroll to the bottom, and click Edit. As a side note, this feature isn't available for all apps. 5. Save money and share the apps you buy with others in your family. If you, your brother, and mom all want WhatsApp, create an Apple ID for everyone. Have one of you invite up to six people to join by going through Settings, iCloud, and you can share purchased apps as well as photos, calendars, locations, and more. 4. We've all been the victims of overbearing, incessant group messages at some point. To mute or leave the conversation, click Details in the thread and find the options at the bottom. 3. Even if you've edited a picture days ago, you can still go back to the original. After opening the image, touch Edit, Revert. Thanks, Steve Jobs, or uh, Tim Cook. 2. Share your location with friends or family on a one-time or reoccurring basis. Click Details from a person's name and choose the option. 1. Look in the Extras folder for Apple's newest addition to its stock applications. Click the light bulb to find out more tips on iOS 8, updated weekly by Apple HQ. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.